The integumentary system is a system that a lot of people aren't even aware is there, but it's right there in front of you. Whenever you look at somebody, you're actually seeing their integumentary system. You can't see their digestive system or their nervous system, but this is my integument. It's the skin. Now, a lot of times we think, well, what does the skin do? Well, it's actually involved in a lot of different things. It's involved in protection. Obviously, if I get a fungus on my skin and I just sit there and brush it off, how didn't why didn't it attack my muscles? Because my skin is protecting everything underneath. It produces oils that help protect me from water loss and things like that. It's involved in thermal regulation. It can uh, cause the hairs to erect. Now in humans, getting the little goosebumps is not so effective. If you're a kitty cat, erecting your hair helps create a greater layer of uh, thermal, uh, thermal protection or insulation. I can blush or send lots of blood vessels, open them up in my skin and thus allow me to dump heat out. Or when I'm getting cold, you may notice that somebody gets pale and that's because they're constricting the blood supply to their skin to reduce the loss of heat through their skin. We excrete waste. I mean, that's a lot of what sweat is. There's all sorts of chemicals in there. Um, it's involved in various senses, pain, heat, pressure, touch, all these senses are involved in the skin. Now there's two main layers to the skin. There's the epidermis, which is the outer layer, and then the uh, dermis that's underneath it. There's a another layer called the subdermis, but that's not really part of the integumentary system. The epidermis is the outer layer of the skin, and this is the layer that everybody sits there, and when you do this, you're scratching off epidermal cells, but that's okay. They're constantly undergoing cell division to replace them, so the epidermis is involved in a lot of protection of the more delicate uh, tissues that are underneath it, like the blood vessels and such. The epidermis doesn't actually have its own blood vessels. Unlike the dermis, the dermis does contain blood vessels. It has nerve endings, it has the sweat glands and everything else that we often think of as the important structures of the skin. Now that subdermis that I mentioned before is again not technically part of the integumentary system, but it is an important layer of what we think of as the skin because this is the connective tissue that helps anchor the skin to the lower structures like your muscles and such. And it's also often a layer of it has layers of fat that help in uh, thermal uh, insulation. It also helps in cushioning, which um, especially on our rear ends helps when we sit from damaging our uh, delicate bodies. And that's the integumentary system.